The city doing more to keep your kids safe. Last night, the council signed off on a new ordinance that paves the way for safer school zones. Yeah, Mary Mills is live for us from 32nd and Meridian near St. Richard's School to tell us what you'll soon see more of. Mary, good morning. Well, Ben and Naomi, good morning to you. And what you're going to see more of are these flashing signs in school zones across the city. Now, this one is not flashing now. Why? Because it's too early. Kids aren't headed to school, but give it an hour or so. Now, the signs are meant to warn drivers to slow down. You certainly can't miss that flashing beacon. The city began installing them about a year ago. We're told they have 160 uh, uh, schools that now have them, 42 more will soon be getting them. The flashing lights replace those old signs where school zones were basically in effect from 7 a.m. to 4.30, regardless of whether the kids were in school. Uh, right now, Public Works actually has to come out and manually program each and every sign. But that's going to change within the next month or so. They will be able to um, change the signs remotely. And Republican Councilor Jeff Miller says that's going to make a big difference. But the real takeaway for the schools is now that they understand these, now that you know, the public has seen them and is getting used to them, when do they want the timing to be set? You know, each school can decide that. By default, it's two hours when the students arrive, two hours when they leave. But maybe you need it all day because you've got a playground across the street and you've got kids going in and out, you know, elementary kids. Maybe you're a school that has runners. And the goal is that a majority of schools across uh, Marion County will ultimately have these signs, but not all will. We are told that uh, some of the schools on um, neighborhood streets with less traffic probably won't get them, at least not immediately. Ben and Naomi.